Ciao, mi chiamo Giacomo. Ciao, mi chiamo Francesco. Ciao, mi chiamo Kevin. Porte casuna con un stemma reta, una cupulella che vi si era aizzata, passa scampariando a Perfetto, allora facciamo, facciamo lezione in un'ora dalle 11 alle 12 e poi alle 12 andiamo a mangiare e ne arriviamo, penso, eh, 20 minuti camminando da qua. Being an English speaker not knowing any languages prior to Italian, it's been very difficult for me. Yeah, I mean, once, once you start um, getting like the gist of it, it's easier to understand the typical way that they speak and the kinds of things they say, and abbreviations for things. But being immersed in the culture like we are kind of really helps a lot. Yeah, being forced to order your own food or um, pick up things you need. Uh, recharge your phone, anything. It really, you just like say it in Italian. Il gruppo che vince, quattro team, il gruppo che vince, gli paghiamo il caffè a, a mangiare la pizza. Ah. Ok, il caffè, no? Non c'è la pizza, no? Va bene, vince. I think, or I think it would be harder if I didn't already know Spanish, so starting it was pretty easy, um, relating it Spanish to to Italian. Knowing that I know both languages, English and Spanish, um, I thought of Italian as being more of an easier language to learn. And it, the Spanish did help me in it, learning Italian, but I think I would prefer the English as well because the Italian became much harder even with the Spanish background to learn. Yeah. I actually thought it was a lot of fun to learn. Um, I didn't think that I would enjoy it so much. Like we, like well, personally speaking, sometimes I catch myself saying random things in Italian without exactly meaning to say it. Like for example, like thank you, hello, and va bene. I don't know. It was a fun class, and it's, it's a fun language. I'd like to keep learning it. That kind of class, I mean, not only is it, you know, fun and, and interesting to go to, like, first of all, it's like, you know, the professor needs to be interesting and, and motivated to, to teach you, and, you know, our, our professor Alessandro is really good at that, and, and he explains very well, and he also has a background in, in Spanish, Spanish being probably his second, was it his second or third language? Probably his second, mm -hmm. so Italian and Spanish, he knows a little bit of French, um, the guy is, obviously. yeah, English. The guy is awesome. He knows how to teach. Going to that class, he makes it fun. We uh, talk. He doesn't just teach us, but we talk amongst ourselves and start learning things that are valuable for a three-month semester. Kind of like this, like crash course, but still learning things that we both need and want because we can ask him, like, oh, I want to make a reservation for a place to eat and. He'll tell you exactly how to say it, and he'll give you pointers on like what people usually say, how people usually talk in this part of Italy, and things like that. And he's active. He'll take us out, and he'll take us and buy a cafe, and he'll take us out to buy a gelato, and which helps because I mean, we do a lot of that here, going out and buying things. So he teaches us the basics of how to get by socially too. Yeah, he 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 simulates the real life situation. <laughs> Due 
americano, americano, americano. Ma si nati in Italia, si è andato a me in un cesta niente fa. Ok, napolitan, tuo fa l'americano, tuo fa l'americano, tuo fa l'americano, tuo fa l'americano.